Hi everyone, hope you're all still keeping well. Welcome back to lesson five of learning the Irish traditional flute with me, Rachel, from Crave Borky Hiltis. Today we are going to be going and learning another new tune to match the last march that we learnt in the last lesson, lesson four. We are going to learn Foggy Dew, which is a match that goes alongside Roddy McCorley very often in Irish shod music. Um, they're two very basic marches which are good to learn for your first few tunes in the trad world. So um, I think we're going to do what we always do and go over a scale from D to high G and then we'll go over Roddy McCorley and then we'll start a new tune in Foggy Dew. Still at the minute, we the, the notes that we've covered are low D up to high G. Um, we're going to do that scale now. Um, as I always said, start my videos. If you haven't watched any of the rest of them, please go back and do watch lesson one to four before you move on to five, because then it'll be easier for you to learn. In my, you'll be able to learn my methods more easier by learning by watching my other videos, and you'll know my methods and be able to pick up on them faster, maybe. So, um, now we are going to do the scale and hold hold each note for about three seconds each. Um, from D to high G and then back down to G. Okay, so one, two, three. <laughs> Now, if you can do that along with me, it's very handy for you to move on to this next tune that we're learning. In Foggy Dew, I'm pretty sure that all the notes that we've done so far, D up to high G on the flute, are in this tune. So that's very good. This tune will widen your path in learning. So, right, in that scale we didn't play C notch, so we're going to play that now ourselves for three seconds. One, two, three. Okay, just do that always if you're playing a scale and you don't play a note, just play on its own even afterwards. Right, so we're going to play um, Roddy McCorley. I put the notes up here beside me like I did in the last lesson, which was proven to be very handy, I was told by people. Um, but yes, I'm going to play Roddy McCorley now and then we'll move on to Foggy G. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, right, now we might, we're going to go over and start Foggy Dew. So I'm going to put its notes up here beside me as well and put up the sequence of the parts that we play in because some of you might understand the wee, mightn't understand the wee signals or the wee notations beside in my notes. Um, the, some of these are used in classical music, in proper written music and in sheet music and I some of them have been adopted over the trial over the years and I use them and my teacher showed me to use them etc so in Foggy Dew we play the first part twice the second part and then back to the first part once <laughs> Okay. 
okay? Right, now I'm gonna go through the first line. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm going to go through the first line. One, two, three. And then the second line. Now you're holding that last D in that second line for a wee bit longer. And then the third one. In that last line as well, the E is very long. So that's the first part. And then the second part. And then the last line. 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 Okay, right, now we're going to play it all together again. Or the last, now we're going to play the second part together, the last two lines. Now we're going to play the last two lines together. Now we're going to play the last two lines together. Now we're going to play the last two lines together. Now we're going to play the last two lines together. Okay, so now we're going to play the whole tune straight through. One, two, three. Okay guys, that's the end of today's lesson. Thanks for very much for watching. Um that so in today's lesson we learnt um foggy do and for the homework for lesson six I want you to just go over that there foggy do and Roddy McCorley as well, but focusing on foggy do and just get the hang of it and we'll go over it more in depth maybe in the next lesson. So no worry about if you're a bit stuck or anything, just always practice makes it perfect and keep going over the chin and try your best so see you next time guys thanks very much bye